How long does it take to plot on a mechanical hard drive such as this? Western Digital Black 4 terabyte. We're going to find out. It's an old drive. I've had it for probably, well, quite a while. Normally I've been plotting on these NVMe tools. But I stopped plotting re recently because, well, it's pointless until the pool start up because lower one's nothing so there's no point however i'm just going to experiment while we wait for the pools without killing my well eroding the life of my nvme2 drives which can plot roughly in parallel three plots running at a time and they take about five and a half hours for each plot to complete in series so how long will it take for a mechanical hard drive to plot to? Let's find out. So let's add one plot. What's the time? 6 15, 18th of May 2021. Some say it's going to be 20 hours, some say 24 hours, some say 12 hours. Well, let's find out. I'm just going to use the default setting. I'm not going to give you any extra threads or anything. So you have a realistic. Uh, plots add plot plot count one yeah everything's gonna be left at default oh yeah I've got to select the f folder I'm not gonna select a SSD I'm gonna select the mechanical hard drive old and see it's old drive Chia temp should be empty empty yep yeah. select the folder so that's Chia temp on a mechanical hard drive and I'll select uh, the st same st farming folder where the 141 plots are. So how long is it going to take? The speed of the, the drive is around 120 to 140 megabytes per second. Obviously it's a lot slower than the so you can hear it now. I can hear it. If you can't hear it, I can hear it. Let's see if there's anything in the folder. Yeah, so already got look eight fifteen six fifteen. So already got some files filling it up. What's eight gigabytes already? Oh, space on disk is allocated eight gigabytes. It's not written eight gigabytes. It doesn't show you how many it's written, but it's allocated eight gigabytes for whatever it's doing. Ooh, it's, it's writing it fast for some reason. Yeah. It's strange. <clears throat> anyway, I've started it off one plot, uh, six fifty. Uh, see how long it takes. Eight towers for a six. You can only do them one at a time. You can't do these in parallel. If you're thinking about doing them in parallel, don't. Because the heads are going to be spinning all over the place. So I'm using a drive that I don't normally use at all. Because it's an old drive. I'm basically deleting stuff off it. The reason why I don't use it because it, it has got uh, a warning on it. So I obviously, as soon as I got the caution, I moved everything. Copied everything off onto a new drive. It's got one write error. But only one. So it's not like dead, but you're not going to chance it with data, reliable data, the data you want to keep. So it's basically a free drive. I can delete everything off it. Anyway, I'll try this experiment, see what happens, see how many, uh, how long it takes in series, not parallel I'm just plotting one if I was plotting more than one I'd obviously do it as a step I go add plot and then you choose number of plots add to plot queue so it completes one then starts the other that's the only way you can do serially otherwise it's gonna take a lot longer if you've got two plots running in parallel it's gonna take more than the time to do one at a time because the head's gonna be Plus, there's a chance you're going to damage it and it's going to overheat. What's the temperature? 
So it's pretty cool, 37 degrees. We'll see how the temperature increases. Uh, the external drive is cooled down as well, where it's gonna go. These are the NVMe 2s that I've used up. 7% on each, doing 140 plots. So let's see what happens. I've already added the plot. Let's see how long it takes. Um, well, it takes about five hours, five and a half hours. That's doing three in parallel on the NVMe 2s. I think this is going to take, oh, it's hard to guess, 100 megabits per second. Um, you see, it's going to take, well, it's going to take more than five and a half hours. I'm hoping for it's going to take less than 12, which may make it viable when the pool start to have one running yet on this. When the pools start, there's no point doing it before the pools. As I'll illustrate in my other video, you're not going to make nothing. But when the pools start, if you can join a large pool that's got... Look at network space now, 6 point. It's going to have to be at least one EIB, the network space you join. Otherwise, you're not going to get nothing. I don't think it's going to be worth even joining the pools because they're not going to be able to keep pace. So when the pools start, the network space is going to be zero and they're going to quickly build up. But look how far they will have to go. Anyway, I'm doing this experiment with one plot only on a mechanical. Let's see what happens. It's probably going to be around 12 hours, but let's find out. Got a long way to go. It's just over three hours later. And let's see how much it's done now. What what percentage it's reached? Plot. 22%. Okay, so if you're doing three, 22% three hours. Um, 100% will be in about... 14 hours, if my math is correct, roughly 14 hours. It's a little bit more than I thought, but I was aiming for just around 12 or 12, just under 12. So, so far, it's going to look like it's going to be around 14 hours. We'll continue the experiment and see where it ends. What about the temperature? 40 degrees, up 3 degrees, that's not okay, that's not much. Uh, so we have a look, what's the folder size? 166 gigabytes, so it's not reached maximum yet. Roughly, it should get to around over 300. So we're not there yet, it's still increasing the plotting. I can hear the hard drive chugging away, chugging away. That's a negative, the noise. You can hear it, especially when there's silence. You've not got TV on or anything, or watching a video. Anyway, just over three hours and it's done 22%. Uh, a rough estimate that equates to 14 hours. We'll see how it goes. The first phase I think it has one three four phases or three three or four phases I forget now the first phase is the most heavy duty in terms of processor load memory and time in fact I can have a look at what does the processor look like yeah you can see there that's cheer about well, the temperature yeah it's tier fan on the yeah that's all tier um okay so there we go that's tier working away it's the most you know on processor terms probably the top of the application memory yep yeah, five gig so even on, I thought I'd limited it to uh, plotting. So on this system, it's not much, but you know it will affect your system if you got say 
8 cores and 16 gig RAM that's taking a quite a chunk whereas this system has got you know 16 cores 64 gig RAM you can see it working on the hard drive there that equates to those little um, see those peaks of activity equate to these the processor temperature and fan they have another spike in hard drive usage a little bug flying around it's not something that you really want to do unless you want to hear the hard drive whirling remember this is solo plotting I mean uh, not in parallel this is queuing so that uh, the load on the drive is less one plot at a time add to plot queue not parallel if it was parallel it would take a lot longer to get done if you imagine if I did three in parallel I'm not gonna do it because it's gonna kill the hard drive it would if you had three in parallel that head would be going berserk <laughs> it would be going bananas it probably the drive would get hotter and hotter and overheat and it would probably kill it you know having a hard drive head rocketing all over the place for what 12 14 hours more probably because yeah it'll take a lot longer i i can't say how long you've had three in parallel but it'd be over 24 hours and all that because it would be more than the half the one third it'd be take a lot longer because you have the head going <laughs> it would probably knacker the hard drive it would definitely shorten its life and you won't survive many plots doing that at least with one you know it, it it's not putting the hard drive under excess strain so you got these pauses yeah so it's not you could plot one plot per hard drive yeah you could do it that way and maybe 12 to 14 hours which we'll see how long was it 23 percent now see what it like when it gets to 50 60 well we're going to see how long it takes i still estimate around 12 hours maybe just under because the first phase is the heaviest and does take the longest so it will be the slowest appear to be the slowest and temperature is not too bad hard drive's coping well so we're now six hours into the plot 30 minutes past midnight and 45% is done. Now, what does that calculate to? Equals 6 divided by 45 times 100 is 13 hours. That's the estimated time, but from my experience, the first 50% or 60% goes slower than the remaining 40%. So it should come in under 12 hours total. And we're going to find out what's the directory size. Uh, only 201 gigabytes. I thought it would be more than that by now. So we're going to still continue to increase. It should get to over 300 gigabytes. So we're still in the high difficulty phase probably around 60% then it should speed up and we'll have the full size and start it'll start compressing the files down to 100 gigabytes sometime after 60% it's now one hour <coughs> it's now one hour later and what's the percentage 68% so it's moving along quite fast now so 68 divided was it uh, seven hours so it's seven divided by 68 times 100 that's 10 hours now estimated time that's well under the 12 i thought it'd be 
so this is how it plots first 55 60 percent slow then the remaining it picks up speed towards the end this was i knew when it was about 14 estimated it's going to be under 12. now it looks like it's going to be under 10. it's going to speed up further so probably might be nine hours something like that nine hours so you can get two and a half plots out of a day if it's nine hours anyway we'll see what it's like when it finishes <clears throat> this way it might be done in less than two hours yeah it should be done in less than two hours it's now nine hours is it done or is it still plotting 100% it's done it's just transferring over to the final destination so it takes nine hours to plot on a mechanical drive uh, Q plot not parallel so it's like add plot to Q not to parallel that's not gonna work not with head spinning all over the place anyway now you know if you plot using Q you get one drive one plot every nine hours roughly that's two and a half plots per day which means if you have say four or five mechanical drives in your system you can get uh, with five mechanical drives you can get 12 plots per day all without destroying your uh, NVMe 2 drives or SSDs that's an option oh, you can easily put, rig up, put in uh, five mechanical drives in most computers if not in 90% if I can do more than five in mine I could probably put in say two NVMe's and probably six SATA probably put more probably eight I think mine's got capacity for eight so theoretically I could plop in eight drives and plot to them it should be doable and I would get with eight SATA 20 plots per day I think uh, most com systems will have capacity for six SATA time uh, that's 15 plots per day so it's doable you could plot with mechanical drive and does save costs putting some cheap mechanical drives in um, and plot and transfer to an external you know your final destination but now you know it takes about nine hours which isn't that bad I thought it'd be worse to be around 12 you know NVMe would I think take five hours obviously the advantage with NVMe 2 drives is that you can plot in parallel so with two I could do 15 two NVMe's would do 15 whereas you need about six SATA drives to do 15 anyway now you know nine hours for a mechanical drive uh, with, with adding to the queue rather than parallel parallel won't work it will be slower than adding to queue and it would risk your drive dying what about temps temps yeah it stayed constant at 40 obviously the external drive is now popped up to 50 as it's transferring over Plot still transferring. 